said soccer shirt i wanted to do a video tonight i haven't done one in a while didn't want this to just be a soccer blog but that's what it's turning into right now because that's what's interesting me and talking about my job would bore you all silly and i can't talk about most of it anyway because it's confidential stuff so soccer she believes cup the whole issue I'm having with this is people making a lot out of nothing, which is what sports fans do. It's why some lunatic stands in his family room talking to an iPad trying to make a video. The whole thing is just kind of made up. It's not the Algarve Cup that has a lot of tradition. It's we don't want to get jet lagged and have to relocate our entire training before Rio, so let's invite some friends over to play. It looks to be a quality tournament. It's got some good teams, but it's really, it's filler. It's time for the coaching staff to try out different players, different techniques, see what happens. Some of that's not working great. Offense, way down. Production, minimal. Opportunities, not there. I'm not worried, though. This is a team that for too long has had a glut of forwards and too many scorers who aren't getting time to play. I honestly feel that as much as I like Wambach as a player, she overstayed her welcome with me. She wasn't productive at the end, but the team was built around a specific kind of cross into the box to score. They didn't necessarily build up from the back and create plays as they had the ability to score on pretty much anything they could throw at the net. But that gets us into the situation where, with the Olympics coming up very quickly, the roster's not nailed down. There hasn't been that rebuilding phase where they've seen a bunch of different players. There's expectations from the fans and the soccer federation and probably the players and the coaches and everyone involved that they need to win. They need to win every time they step on the pitch. Their last loss against China was a stupid loss because they spent the entire time trying to get Abby to score instead of getting other players involved. It will improve. The players, um, like today, there was criticism that Ellis didn't sub in as quickly as she should have against France. I took it the other way, that she's putting players out in the field, telling them to make it work, make it work designers, find a way to make something click, to score some goals with the personnel that's out there. It's frustrating for me as a fan of the team to see them not scoring, but it's even more frustrating to see the Fairweather fans who, it's the nature of the game. Some people play, some people don't. There are valuable people who have great role-playing skills on the bench that didn't get in today. Yes, maybe they could have scored, made it less of a tight game. Maybe they could have defended better than O'Hara did because she's not the strongest. There's no question. Kelly O'Hara is a step down on defense from Allie Krieger. But she's about four steps up on offense and ball handling. So these are the trades. This is what Ellis needs to do. She needs to play different players in different roles, see how the team gels, see what works. Amazing back line. Made some errors today. Sauerbrunn, who never makes mistakes. I don't know if it was having her boyfriend and the family and everyone in the park or what it was, but she screwed up. It's rare, but she's human, we, we have to admit it, and these things happen. But it just shows that they can't rely on Solo and that back four to do constant shutouts. I'm not, I'm not concerned. I'm not worried. The, the U.S. national team will get through this. They, they may lose games, they may win games, but it's this rebuilding curve. It's this attempt to find players, new roles to develop skills, to build something better going forward. It's not always an easy process. There's wrinkles, there's growing pains, there's bumps in the road, but in the end, a good team results. I mean, we can't counsel patience with Rio right around the corner, but at least stop hyperventilating. Women's team fans, they're turning corners, they're getting there. Pew is doing great, Horan is starting to blend a little better, Tobin Heath, who knows what's going on with her, but we saw some different positioning from her today. Overall, the team's getting there. It's not there yet. It can't be instantaneous. People that want an instantaneous fix, it doesn't happen. It's not a matter of cutting Hinkle and firing Haran and putting Hayo out there. That's not going to make every game like they're playing Costa Rica. There, there are things that need to be done, things that could be done, 
but it's a process. You're, there's never been a roster where every player was a FIFA top 11 player. There's never been a roster where every single person could play every single position with exceeding skill. There's always a depth chart on the team. There's always people who made it over someone else that someone thinks should be there or not be there. It's the nature of the game. But they're looking better. They're not necessarily looking great, but things are starting to come together. The players that need to play together are spending time together, and that's really all we can look for right now in what is really an overblown series of friendlies. So they're winning. It's what we can ask. Enjoy it.